for Cole Grove. And it's a short kick, and that goes out of bounds. Right in front of assistant coach Tim Watkins. Of course, the flag is down. Of course, Cole Grove will have first shot at it, yeah. wearing their home black. Buckeyes in the visiting white. And it's a legal procedure on Nelsonville, York. The kick out of bounds, and it is declined. Cole Grove with excellent field position on their own 39. They're led a quarterback by Derek French, the 6'1 senior. Fullback is Stephen Adams, number 27, and Brandon Keeney, number 40, is the tailback. And the handoff goes to Keeney, and he'll pick up five yards. Pardon me, he'll pick up seven yards to the Hornet 46. Parker Elliott in on the tackle for the Buckeyes. Second down and three. Colgrove on their own 46. Come on, Lawson. And off the Keeney, and he's hit and dropped. He might have got a yard, but it's going to bring up third down. Darren Lawson in on the tackle for the Buckeyes, along with Roy Wolf. Third down and two for Cole Grove on their own 47. Derek French over center. Third and two for Colgrove on their initial drive. Hand off to Keeney and he's hit and drop. By a host of Buckeyes. Bubba Russell and Dan Lawson. And Colgrove is forced to punt as Keeney has dropped for a two yard loss. Fourth down and four back at the 45 of Colgrove. Back deep for the Buckeyes, Josh Walker, wearing number 10, who had a big punt return for a touchdown at Logan last week. He's joined by J.D. Shaw. Jeremy Roush will boot it away for Colgrove, and he kicks it off the side of his foot. Out of bounds, Buckeyes will have great field position. It's out of bounds at the Nelson, New York 41. Buckeyes with their first possession. Ben Ruby at quarterback. Matt Cattle Henrik at fullback. Eric Glass at tailback. Buckeyes on their own 41. Handoff goes Eric Glass. And he's hit and dropped. He may have gained one. One yard pickup out to the 42, second down and nine for Nelsonville York. 9.25 remaining in the opening quarter. The guys with three receivers split out, two on the right, one on the left. Roby to pass, and it's caught by J.D. Shaw, and he's dropped, but it'll be about a pickup of six for the Buckeyes. Then it'll bring up third down and three. Third and three at the Cold Grove, or pardon me, the Buckeye 48. Buckeyes out of the I formation. Option, pitch out Eric Glass. He's got the first down for the Buckeyes as he picks up four yards to the Cold Grove 48. Woo! 
Buckeyes with the first first down of the contest. Eric Glass picking up the first down, pick up a four. Of course, Eric leading the area in rushing. 357 yards on 46 carries. He's got four touchdowns. Out of the shotgun is the Buckeyes. Roby being rushed and he's hit and dropped for an eight yard loss back at the Buckeye 45. There is a flag down and it is holding on its deep. First he said holding on Colgrove then holding on the Buckeyes. I don't know whether it is offsetting or whether he made a mistake and the penalty is against the Buckeyes. And it is. And he did made a, make a mistake when he pointed at Colgrove. It is holding on the Buckeyes and Colgrove has declined. So the Buckeyes with a second down and 18 back at their own 45. Once again, out of the shotgun. Ruby throws hard in the middle. Trey Wilson's got it. Close to a Buckeye first down. And it'll bring up third down. He's just about a yard shy. Pick up a 17 on that pass play. Bring up third down and one at the Cold Grove 38 yard line. Handoff goes to Glass. He's got the first down and more as he takes it to the Cold Grove 35. Pick up of three. So a big first down for the Buckeyes after the sack on first down. Buckeyes with a second and 18. They come back to pick it up. Seven minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Buckeyes first down and 10 at the Hornet 35 yard line. Roby back to pass, throws. He's got J.D. Shaw. And Shaw's taken down right around the 30. It'll be a pickup of five. Bring up second down and five for the Buckeyes. Six and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Second down and five for Nelson, New York at the Cold Grove 30. Hand off on the counter to Parker Elliott. Looks like he's got the first down and more. Pick up of six to the 19 yard line. They've marked it at the 20. And it's a first down for Nelson, New York at the Hornet 20. Six minutes remaining, first quarter. Go, go, go. Parker Elliott and Trey Wilson split out wide to the left. J.D. Shaw to the right. Handoff, Eric Glass. Still on his feet. Nice run by Eric Glass. Good hard running. He's close to another five-yard pickup. Good job. Good job. pick up a five for Eric Glass. And it'll bring up second down and five. At the 16-yard line of Colgrove. Take hand off Ruby rolling to the left. And it goes through the hands of Parker Elliott. 
Down around the three yard line. Incomplete pass, and they'll bring up third down and five for the Buckeyes. Buckeyes on the Cole Grove 16 yard line. Clock stopped with the incompletion at 5.04 remaining, first quarter. No score. Third down and five for the Buckeyes at the 16 of Cole Grove. It's an option. Roby keeps it himself. Still on his feet. And it looks like he's got the first down at the nine-yard line. It'll be first and goal at the nine. Buckeyes break huddle. First and goal from the court at nine, and now a flag is down. Looks like it will be against Nelson, New York. A legal procedure on the Buckeyes. That will take it back to the 14-yard line where it'll be first and goal for the Buckeyes. Four and a half minutes remaining, opening quarter. Groby back to pass, throwing, and it falls incomplete. Intended receiver is J.D. Shaw. In coverage for Colgrove was Nick Roberts. Buckeyes with a second end goal from the 14. on the Buckeyes. Come on, get it together. And it'll be second down in 19. Goal to go. Ball resting at the Cold Grove 19 and it is second and goal to go. So the Buckeyes had a second and 18 earlier in this drive and picked it up. Let's see what they can do here. The second and 19, goal to go. Derby back to pass, throwing, and it's overthrown to Parker Elliott. Down around the seven yard line. Coverage by number 20, Richie Belleville. And it'll be third and goal from the 19. 4-12 remaining first quarter. And the Buckeyes have a timeout call by the Buckeyes. 4-12 remaining first quarter, no score. Buckeyes third and goal from the Hornet 19. Derby back to pass, throwing. And it is incomplete. Almost a completion for the Buckeyes to Josh Walker. But it falls incomplete, and the Buckeyes, with a fourth and goal from the 19, will probably go for it. and goal from the 19. Go, 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 go. Ruby back to pass, being rushed. Takes it himself and he's taken down. Right around the 
13 yard line looks to be. Guys with a nice initial drive, but they got first and goal to go and had a couple legal procedures. But at least the Buckeyes know they can move the ball against Colgrove. First and ten from the 12 is the Hornets. Keeney still on his feet, a nice gain. Pickup of about nine out to the 21. Elliott in on the tackle for the Buckeyes. Ball resting at the cold groove, 21, for, uh, pardon me, second down and one. Three and a half minutes remaining, opening quarter, no score. And the man is hit and dropped for a loss, and it's the fullback, Stephen Adams. Excellent play by the Buckeyes. Darren Lawson, one more time, in on the tackle for Nelsonville York. The yard loss. It'll be third down and two. Cole Grove on their own 20. Hand off to Keeney, and it looks like he's got the first down. Looks like he picked up three. And it is first down Colgrove. First down and ten for Colgrove on their own 24. Two thirty remaining first quarter. Another excellent night for high school football in Southeast Ohio. Quarterback Prince still has it, throws, and it is complete to the fullback. And he'll pick up about six. Stephen Adams, the fullback with the reception. Right down here. Second down and four for Colgrove at their own 30-yard line. Pitch out left side to Adams, and he's hit and dropped. Close to a Cole Grove first down. And he is short of it by a yard. Third down a yard for Cole Grove on their own 34. Clock running under one minute remaining in the first quarter here at Cole Grove. said that he was down. The referee ruled that he was down. But it is a two-yard loss, and it'll bring up fourth down and three. Colgrove will punt it away. J.D. Shaw, Josh Walker back deep to receive. Pun is away. Shaw calling fair catch, and the Buckeyes will have good field position on their own 42 with three seconds remaining in the first quarter. No score. Buckeyes with their second possession. Handoff goes to the fullback, Cato Henrik, and he's hit immediately. As soon as he took the handoff, 
And it'll be a two-yard loss. And that's the end of the first quarter. Nelson B. York, zero, and Colgrove, zero. Starting the second quarter of play, the Buckeyes will have a second down and 12 on their own 40-yard line. Ruby back to pass, throws. He's got Bickley. Nice pick up for the Buckeyes. Out to the Nelson, New York, 48-yard line. Pick up of about nine. Bring up third down and three for the Buckeyes. Buckeyes on their own, 48-yard line. Third down and three. Option play, pitch out to Eric Glass. Cuts it back up, and he may have the first down. Nice run by Eric Glass. Good job, good job. Right at the stick. Kevin Meade's taking a close look at it also. And we're going to have a measurement by the official. And the Buckeyes picked it up. Ball resting at the Cold Grove 48 yard line. They had to look at it very close, but first down, Nelson, New York. Their fifth first down. Cold Grove with one. Ruby fakes the handoff back to pass, but he's being rushed and dropped. Back at the Buckeye 46. Bring up second down and 16. Second down 18. How about for the Buckeyes? 10 12 remaining in the first half. No score. Bickley in motion. Take pitch out. Ruby throws and the intended receiver, Parker Elliott, was dropped. No flag. And it'll bring up third down and 16 for Nelson, New York. On their own 46. Kevin Meade shouting at the official that should have made that call. Ruby out of the shotgun, back to pass. Throws down the field, and it is dropped by Josh Walker, but the pass was behind him. Bring up fourth down for the Buckeyes. Fourth and 16, back at the Buckeye 46. Ruby will punt it for Nelson, New York. He'll be standing at the... 33 of Nelson, New York. Mike Woods back deep to receive for Colgrove. Low snap, Ruby Fields gets it off, low kick, Woods takes it. Crossing the 30 of Colgrove and taken down. So the Hornets will have it on their own 33, first down and 10. on their own 33-yard line. 
hand off to Keeney, and he's hit and dropped for a loss. Darren Lawson in on the tackle for the Buckeyes, and he was helped out by a couple others. Loss of three on the play. Ball resting at the Hornet 30-yard line. It'll be second down and 13. Branch hands off to Keeney around the right side. And he's hit and dropped again. Another loss. Darren Lawson in on the tackle once again. Eight forty one remaining before halftime and it's third down and fifteen for Colgrove. <laughs> Ball back on the 27. Go Colgrove and and Colgrove has to take a timeout. They were getting close to the delay of game. 8:29 remaining before halftime. No score. So Colgrove facing a third and 15 on their own. 28-yard line. Let's see if Derek Prince will pass it for Colgrove here. And he is back looking for a receiver. Being rushed, and he's throwing over the center, and it's incomplete. Intended receiver was Jeremy Roush. Back on coverage for the Buckeyes was Charlie Roberts. Colgrove will have to punt it away. Josh Walker, J.D. Shaw back standing at the Buckeye 37. Jeremy Rouse will punt it away for Colgrove on 4th and 15. And it's away. It will be taken by Josh Walker. Crosses the 40. And he's hit and dropped. Back at the Buckeye 37. Chris Friend in on the tackle for Cole Grove, joined by DJ Bryant, number 44. Eight fifteen remaining first half. No score in the contest. Buckeyes break huddle and come to the line. Ball resting on their own 36-yard line. Derby back to pass, throws, J.D. Shaw's got it. And he crosses the 40, out to the 42. J.D. Shaw with three receptions, 17 yards. Buckeyes with a second and four. Out at the 42 of Nelson, New York. Pitch out, Eric Glass, left side, has some open field. And he's got the first down and more as he's out to midfield. First down and 10 for Nelson, New York at the 50 yard line. <laughs> Eric Glass, six carries, 24 yards. Ruby <laughs> back to pass. Throwing along the shaft. And it falls incomplete down at the Cold Grove 30 yard line. 
Ben Ruby, 5 of 10 for 38 yards passing. Ruby, after the first two weeks of the season, he was fourth in the area in passing. He's thrown for 217 yards and a touchdown. Hand off glass, cuts it back to the inside. He'll pick up maybe two. Going to bring up third and eight for the Buckeyes at the Cold Grove 48. I'd like to remind everybody this is Nelsonville TV Cable Company. We are locally owned and we are here because we care. Out of the shotgun, third and eight from the Hornet 48. The flag is down as Ruby throws. The play does not count. Come on! And the Buckeyes are backing up. And we have a legal procedure on Nelson, New York. Three penalties, 15 yards on the back. Colgrove is yet to be flagged in the game. And it'll bring up third and 13. Back at the 47 of Nelson, New York. Six twelve remaining in the second quarter. Out of the shotgun, Ben Ruby. Come on, baby. Oh, and across the field, Josh Walker's got it. And he's got a first down. Down to the 26 yard line of Pogo. Buckeyes at the Cold Grove, 27. First and 10. Ruby back to pass. Throws and it's complete to J.D. Shaw down at the 17-yard line. A nice catch by J.D. Shaw as he was rocked as he pulled it in. Pickup of nine. Second down and one for the Bucks at the Hornet 17. Second time the Buckeyes have made a threat on Colgrove. Still no score in the game. Second and one for the Buckeyes at the 17. Ruby rolling left this time. He's going to run it himself, and he's flipped over. Looks like he's got the first down for the Buckeyes. Pick up of about three. And it is first down. Buckeyes with eight first downs. Colgrove with only one. 4.45 remaining before halftime. First and 10 from the Hornet 14. Ruby rolling right, being rushed. Keeps it himself, now throws, and it's overthrown to J.D. Shaw down at the five-yard line. Second down and 10 from the 14 for Nelson, New York. Buckeyes with Shaw split out wide to the right, Walker to the left, Bickley at fullback, Glass at tailback, handoff on the counter, Parker Elliott, and he's going to take it in, touchdown Buckeyes!
minutes, 18 seconds remaining in the half. Then the Buckeyes have taken a 6 nothing lead. Darren Lawson trying to add the seventh. Walker holding. It is up, and it is good. 7 nothing. Nelson, New York, here in the first half. 418 remaining. Buckeyes with the fake onside kick. Jason Russell will kick it off. And he boots it up the field. It'll be taken at the 20 yard line by Blankenship, Barry Blankenship. And he'll take it out around the 35 yard line of Colgrove. And back comes the Buckeye defense. They've been rock solid against Colgrove thus far. Cole Grove has only picked up 25 yards here in the first half and one first down. Cole Grove on their own 35. Hand off Keeney. And he's hit and dropped after a pickup of about five. Out to the 40-yard line of the Hornets. I believe Chris Glass was on the tackle for Nelson, New York. Three forty-five. clock is running, remaining in the first half. Second and five for Colgrove on their own 40. And Blankenship is still on his feet, the wing back. Crosses the 30. Walker's the last man, and he can't get him down. And I believe they're saying he's out of bounds back at the 23-yard line. Now the official walks on, and it is a touchdown. All right, Buckeyes. Barry Blankenship, who caught two touchdown passes receiving last week against Gallup West, takes one 60 yards put Colgrove on the board. And, of course, they still trail by one. Looks like they may go for two. And they will. Back to pass is France being rushed. Burwanger all over him. He throws it up for grabs and it's incomplete. The Buckeyes hold on to a 7-6 lead with 3.23 remaining before halftime. Mike Borders will kick off for Colgrove. J.D. Shaw back deep for the Buckeyes. And this one's a short kick coming to Trey Wilson. And he'll just take it straight up the field, cover the ball, and take it out to the 35-yard line. Good field position for the Buckeyes. Three seventeen remaining in the first half. The Buckeyes leading by one. Ruby back to pass throws. He's got Clay Watkins. The flag is down. Going on, maybe. Come on, give us ten. And we'll let's see what the flag is here. And Colgrove clapping their hands. Come here, 
And the Buckeyes will back up. Illegal block on the Buckeyes. It's a 15 yarder. Four penalties, 30 yards against the Buckeyes. And again, Colgrove is yet to see their first flag. Three minutes, eight seconds remaining before halftime. And it'll bring up first down and about 25 back at the Buckeye 18. Buckeyes have to get out to their own 46 for a first down. Pitch out Eric Glass, left side. Still on his feet. Did a nice job of running the football. Takes it out to the 28. Pickup of about 10. And it'll bring up second down and about 19 with the 25 of Nelson, New York. Pitch out and Walker's going to throw the ball. He hangs it up to Shaw and that's no possession. That's Buckeye football. That's a good call by the official. Both Walker and the defender comes down with it. And again, dual possession goes with the offense, and that's first down. Big first down for the Buckeyes, 2.20 remaining. Hand off Eric Glass straight up the middle, and he'll pick up about four. Down to the Cold Grove 45. Second down and six. Clock running just under two minutes remaining before halftime. Buckeye seven, Hornet six. Roby throws, has Cata Henrik. He catches it, then fumbles, and I think that's... And let's see, they have called it incomplete. back pass it was Josh Walker who threw that football and I believe it was JD Shaw on the receiving end just thinking back on it I think I said Walker was the one that got dual possession but he threw the football third down and six for the Buckeyes at the 46 screen pass to glass and it will fall incomplete and it'll bring up fourth down one twenty-nine remaining in the half, and the Buckeyes will punt it away. Fourth and six at the Cold Grove 46. Rich Belleville will be back deep for Cold Grove to return the punt. He's standing at the 14 of the Hornets. Roby punts it away. Nice punt. Takes a Buckeye bounce. And it's down at the 13 of Colgrove with 118 remaining in the first half. Colgrove, first down and 10. On their own 14. And it's the fullback, number 27, Stephen Adams. And he picks up about six. 
They have second and four. Out at the 20 yard line. Clock running with 50 seconds remaining in the half. So the Buckeyes will have the ball coming out in the second half. Colgrove received to start the game. Blankenship with the football again, and another nice pick up for a Blankenship. Come on, come on. That'll be a first down for Colgrove. <laughs> Hornets will have it on their own 29. First down and 10. Keeney with the handoff. And he stacked up after a short game. Clock down to 16 seconds and Colgrove calls timeout. Hornets trailing 7 to 6. Seventeen seconds remaining in the half. Colgrove on their own 32, second and seven. French back to pass. And he has hit at the fumble. And now they've called it an incomplete pass. Trey Wilson in on the tackle on the sack. I guess it won't be a sack on the incomplete pass. What you call? Looked like he had his arm cocked. It was didn't look like his arm was coming forward. No, it wasn't. But nevertheless, it's third down and seven. Togo on their own 32. 12 seconds left before halftime. Hand off to Keeney, down the left side. And he's still on his feet. But he's dropped at the Cold Grove 49 with four seconds remaining. And Cold Grove will take a timeout. Four seconds remaining before halftime. It's seven to six, Buckeye. Barring penalty, this should be the last play of the first half. Four seconds remaining. French back to pass. Rolling right. Throwing long. He's open. And Roby knocks it away incomplete. And that's the end of the first half here at Colgrove. It's the Nelson New York Buckeyes, seven. And the Colgrove Hornets, six. Kevin Meade still talking to the official out on the field. Seems like there's been a few questionable calls here tonight. Kevin Meade making his case. As we come to halftime here at Colgrove, seven to six, Buckeyes. Buckeyes will receive to begin the second half of play. As number 54, Mike Borders will kick it off. Buckeyes with J.D. Shaw back deep. Running down the first half stats, the Buckeyes, Ben Ruby, 8 of 16 passing. Pardon me, that's also combined with Josh Walker. One pass, 8 of 16. The Buckeyes are passing for 100 yards. 17 rushes, 58 yards, 158 total yards. Colgrove, one of three, passing for six yards. 16 rushes, 113 yards, 119 total yards for Colgrove. The Buckeyes with 10 first downs. Colgrove with four. The Buckeyes have been penalized four times for 30 yards. Colgrove with no penalty. So Mike Border kicks it off for the Hornets, and the second half is underway. Shaw takes it. That's the Buckeye 10. And he will be wrestled down right around the 25-yard line of the Buckeyes.
Buckeye is injured on the play. Again, the Buckeyes leading 7-6, timeout on the field as we begin the second half. Injured Buckeye was J.D. Shaw as he is limping off the field. Hopefully he'll be fine. Buckeyes first and 10 on their own 24. Chopper passes over by. Glass with the football on the left side. And he'll take it to the 20. 26 yard line pick up of two. Buckeye second down and eight at the 26. We'll be back to pass, throwing the walk over the middle. He's got it. He's still on his feet, and he slips and goes down at the Cobra 42. Pick up of about 38 yards on the play, first down for the Buckeyes. Josh Walker. Nice catch over the middle. Nice run. Hand off to Eric Glass. And he's still on his feet. Nice run by Eric Glass. Good blocking by the Buckeyes. Another first down. 17 yard pickup for Glass. Ball resting at the 25 of Colgrove, 57 yards on 11 carries for Eric Glass. Buckeyes with Walker and Elliott split out wide to the right. Trey Wilson to the left and the flag is down. And once again, it's on the Buckeyes. Legal procedure. Bring up first and 15 back at the Colgrove 30. the Colgrove 30-yard line, first down and 15 after the illegal procedure penalty. Ruby back to pass, throwing, and it is picked off down at the 10-yard line by Nick Roberts. Colgrove with their first possession of the second half will start at their own 10 yard line. 10.35 remaining third quarter, Buckeye 7, Hornet 6. Derek French, a quarterback, handoff goes to Keeney. Brandon Keeney takes it out to around the 15-yard line, pick up a five. The second and five for Colgrove at the 15. Come on, Dan! And off to the right side, ball carrier dropped, and that's Barry Blankenship, who had the big touchdown run earlier in the first half for 
Cole Grove. That'll be a pickup of two. That'll bring up third and three. Third and three at the Cole Grove. 17-yard line. Buckeyes, if they can hold here, can get excellent field position. And Keeney has dropped. No gain on the play. And Cole Grove will have to punt it away. So Cole Grove will have to punt it away. The line of scrimmage at the corner 18 yard line. JD Shaw, nice team back in the contest. Back deep along with Josh Walker. They're standing at the Buckeye 45. Roush will punt it away. And it's away. Shaw takes it. And a nice play by J.D. Shaw as he takes it down to the Hornet 32-yard line. Nice play by J.D. Shaw coming up to take the line drive punt. Advancing it to the 32 of Colgrove and the Buckeyes with excellent field position. 8.38 remaining third quarter. Now Savoy York leads by one. Hand off on the counter to Parker Elliott. And it looks like he might have picked up a couple on the play. Let's see where they mark it. And they said he got one yard to bring up second and nine. Second nine at the 31 of Colgrove. Option left side, pitch out Eric Glass. Nowhere to go. He's trying to find, he makes it around the corner. Nice run by Eric Glass. Looks like he was going to be thrown for a loss. And instead, he picks up about five yards. So to bring up third and four for the Buckeyes at the 26th. Of Colgrove. Go, go, go. Third down and four. Buckeyes at the Colgrove 26. 750 remaining third quarter. Nelson New York leads by one out of the shotgun. Ben Roby. Rolling right. Throws and it is complete. And he's down at the 14-yard line of Colgrove. And that'll be a pickup of about 12. And it'll be first down and 10 for the Buckeyes. They've marked it out of bounds at the 15. Looks like there could have been some unnecessary roughness as the official rule that he stepped out of bounds at the fifth team. Hand off Barry Glass. Dies and he's down around the five yard line. Close to another Buckeye first down. And he's got nine yards on the play. He got about nine yards and two feet. Second down and one at the five of Colgrove. Ruby handoff blast around the right side. And he takes it down to the four yard line. That will be a first down. First 
Nelson go at the three for Nelson Bill York. Seven minutes remaining third quarter. The Buckeyes lead by one. Bickley at fullback, Eric Glass at tailback. Hand off to Glass. And a little congested on the right side. Looks like he might have got to the two. Let's see where they spot it. And we've got a timeout called by the Buckeye. 622 remaining in the third quarter. Seven to six. Buckeyes leading. Buckeyes second and goal from the three. Ruby River Center. Out of the power eye. Hand off Eric Glass. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Eric Glass, 76 yards on 16 carries. But more importantly, the Buckeyes with a 13 to 6 lead. With the point after touchdown upcoming. Josh Walker will hold. And Darren Lawson will kick. Kick is up. And it's no good off to the left. 619 remaining in the third quarter. Nelson, New York, 13, and Cole Grove, 6. Jason Russell will kick off for the Buckeyes. And the kick will be taken by Barry Blankenship. And he's hit and knocked backwards. What a hit. Did they get the license number? He said Nick Johnson and Parker Elliott on the tackle. Official timeout, a little equipment problem with the Cold Groove player. We've got 614 remaining in the third. Buckeyes by seven. Ball resting at the Cold Groove, 32. Excellent ball game here at Cold Groove tonight. People have got their money's worth. Back to pass is French, throwing long, Walker in coverage, and it falls incomplete. Nice coverage by Josh Walker. The intended receiver was Richie Belleville. So to bring up second down and 10 for the Hornets on their own 32-yard line. Adams and Keeney in the backfield for Colgrove once again. French back to pass. Throws over the middle. It's caught by Blankenship. And he's dropped. He'll pick up about seven. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Call to pick up of six and to bring up third and four. Colgrove on their own 39. Buckeyes hoping to get the ball back for the offense. Leading 13 to 6. And the flag goes down. It's delay a game. The, the first penalty of the night on Colgrove. 
five-yard delay of game. And that'll make it third and nine. Grove third and nine on their own 34. Buckeyes want the ball back. Derek Prince over center at quarterback. And he's rolling right, looking for a receiver. Throws, and it is incomplete. The Buckeyes have held. Four fifty-three remaining third quarter. All right, boys and girls, let's play ball. <laughs> J.D. Shaw and Josh Walker back deep for the Buckeyes to receive the punt. Jeremy Roush will punt it away for Cole Grove. It's fourth and nine. The Hornets on their own thirty-four. Roush standing on his own twenty-three. The punt is away. It's a nice punt, but it will be returned by Shaw. And a flag comes in, and we're probably going to have a clip on the Buckeyes. 4.42 remaining third quarter. Buckeyes 13, Hornet 6. Was the clipping on Nelson, New York, 15-yard penalty. Ball resting at the Buckeyes 16. First down and 10 for Nelson, New York. A big scoring drive would look nice here for the Buckeyes. 84 yards later. Ruby rolling left. And he breaks away from a tackler. Throws downfield and it's incomplete. Flag on the play. The flag is down. I wonder if Ben might have been past the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. Throw the ball away. I believe they called Ben Ruby for being past the line of scrimmage when he threw the, the pass. And it'll bring up first down and about 14, back at the 11. Oh. Ruby rolling right, throws, and nearly picked off by Nick Roberts. Intended receiver is J.D. Shaw. Buckeyes with a second and 15, back at their own 11. Most of New York needs to work themselves out of this hole. Colgrove hoping to hold and get good field position. Four and a half minutes remaining, third quarter. Buckeyes by seven. Out of the shotgun. Hand off to Eric Glass on the left side. And he's corralled and taken down. Short gain on the play, if any. And it'll be pickup of one. And it'll bring up third down and 14. Buckeyes on their own 12. Ruby out of the shotgun. There he goes. Over the middle, and it's picked off, but it's dropped by Derek French. He had that ball intercepted at the 32 of the Buckeyes, but he dropped it. Buckeyes will have to punt it away on fourth and 14 at their own 12. Ruby will. Be back around the goal line to punt it away. Oh, 
Whitley gets it away. He'll be taken at the Buckeye 45. And the ball carrier finally taken down on the far sideline. But Cole Graves is going to have good field position. Mike Wood on the return, and it'll be at the Buckeye 32. A field position at the Buckeye 32. Nelsonville York leads 13 to 6, 322 remaining in the third quarter. The crowd urges on the Buckeye defense. Hand off to the first man through and he's dropped. Looks like Chris Glass on the tackle. And Darren Lawson. Pick up of one. We got a second down to nine. The Buckeye defense has, has played excellent. They've only given up one play, and that was a 60-yard touchdown run by Barry Blankenship. Other than that, Cole Grove has really struggled against the Buckeye defense. Second down and nine. Handoff, Keeney on the left side. And he's taken down for a pickup of about four, maybe five. Third and five. And will bring up third down and four. Ball resting at the Buckeye, 25. Just outside of the 25, and it's third down and four. Hand off to Keeney, and he's hit and drop. Nice tackle by number 54, and that's Mike Warren. Mike Wareham was out last week in the game against Logan. Nice stick. Pick up of two, and they'll bring up fourth and two. Cole Grove will go for it. Fourth down and two. At the Buckeye. 23-yard line. Excitement at Cole Grove, French over center. Picked out left side, the fullback has got the first down for Cole Grove. Steve Adams picks up about five. One minute remaining in the third quarter. Buckeyes by seven, Cole Grove. First and 10 at the Buckeye 18. Keeney with the handoff, and he's hit and dropped. Looks like Darren Lawson on the tackle. These Cole Grove players are going to hear the name Darren Lawson in their sleep. Two yard pickup. Second down and eight. Ball resting at the Buckeye, 16. 18 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Hand off Keeney, and he's still going. Nice run by Brandon Keeney. Pick up of nine and a first down. And that's the end of the third quarter here from Colgrove. Excellent ball game. Nelson, New York, 13, and Colgrove, 6. Colgrove, first and goal to go at the Buckeye 8 to start the fourth quarter.
That might be the hit of the year. That's a two-yard loss. He'll be filling that one for a couple days as Roy Wolf loads the boom. Second down and goal to go from the 10. And that might be a statement by the Buckeye defense. Let's see. Hand off the blanket chip. And he's going to go in for the score. Blankenship with both Cold Grove touchdowns. And let's see if Cold Grove will kick the extra point to tie or go for two for the lead. It looks like they are kicking. And it will be Mike Borders to kick. Nick Roberts to hold. Buckeyes lead by one with the PAT upcoming. And he's kicking left footed. It is up. And it is good. So with 11 minutes, 7 seconds remaining in the game, the Buckeyes of Nelson, New York, 13, and the Hornets of Colgrove, 13. What a game. And Mike Borders will kick off for Colgrove. J.D. Shaw, Parker Elliott, Josh Walker back deep for the Buckeyes. And it's a bad kick. Picked up by Josh Walker, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Buckeyes last week as Logan pulled to within three. The Buckeye offense responded with a touchdown drive to go back up by ten. Let's see if they could do it one more time here. Score tied at 13. Handoff to Glass, left side. Nice pickup by Eric Glass. He's run out of bounds. Pickup of six. Eric Glass with 83 yards on 18 carries. We'll bring up second down and four. Buckeyes on their own 35. We'll be back to pass. Throws. He's got Walker. And he's taken down at the Colgrove 25 yard line. Buckeyes have passed for 191 yards. The Buckeyes are knocking on the door. The ball resting at the 25 of the Hornets. Handoff, Eric Glass. Good hard running, and he picked up a couple. And they'll just give him one. He's stuck it down to nine for the Buckeyes. <laughs> Second down and nine for the Buckeyes at the 24 Cole Group. Option play. Glass, nice bit of running, but he's finally taking down. Did an excellent job just to elude two initial defenders from Cole Grove. A gain of one. 
And it'll be third down and eight at the 23 of Colgrove. 9.28 remaining in the contest. The score is tied. Back to pass is Verby. Throws to Walker, and it's incomplete. And it'll bring up fourth and eight. It's a cold groove, 23. The Buckeyes will go for it. Four down territory. Ruby over center. Ruby back to pass, throws, and there's a defensive pass to the fence. Down at the 10-yard line. Intended receiver was Josh Walker, and they've called interference on Derek French of Colgrove. And that was a big fourth down play by the Buckeyes. And it'll be first and ten from the Cold Grove 12. 9-12 remaining in the ball game. Hand off the glass, and he's met in the backfield, breaks away, and he might have got it back to the line of scrimmage. Good hard running by Eric Glass. He's getting hit in the backfield, but he was able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. And it'll be second and 10 from the 12 of Colgrove. Hand off the glass. Ruby rolling and he's hit. Breaks away, coming back to the left. He's gonna run it. And he's in. Touchdown. Dan Ruby. From 12 yards out. Excellent run by Ben Ruby. Looked like it was going to be a big loss. Comes back around the left side and takes it in for the score. Darren Lawson trying to make it a seven-point game once again for the Buckeyes. Boots it. Through. Buckeyes 20. Hornets 13 with 822 remaining. What a ball game. Mike Woods back deep for Cole Grove. Buckeyes fake the onside kick, get into regular kicking position. And Jason Russell will kick it away. It comes with a short man. And he's taken down at the 36. The return man was D.J. Bryant, and that was Jason Russell, a little chicken up on the sidelines, but he runs back out on the field. He's okay. And now Colgrove has the pressure on them. The ball's back in their court. The Buckeyes put seven more back up on the scoreboard to make it 20 to 13 Buckeyes. First and 10 Cold Grove on their own 36. Hand off to Keeney. And he's taken down. Out around the 41. Pick up a four.
Kinney with 64 yards on 19 carries. Cole Grove on their own 41. It's second down and six. Hand off to Keeney and he stops. No gain on the play. In fact, he might have lost a half a yard. We'll call it no gain. Seven twenty remaining in the ball game. Buckeyes by seven. It's third down and six, and Colgrove wants a timeout. 20 to 13, Buckeye. that pass off and that'll be a pass to an illegal man because he yeah, yeah look like France hit one of his own blockers with the pass and that'll be a penalty and a loss of down I believe it's five yards and loss of down Illegal touching by Colgrove. It is declined. So it must not have been lost of down. It's fourth down for Colgrove. Fourth and six on their own 41. That guy's lead by seven, seven, 13 remaining. Jeremy Rouse will punt it away for Colgrove. J.D. Shaw, Josh Walker back deep for the Buckeyes. And the punt is away. It'll be taken by J.D. Shaw. Coming across the 30. Covers the ball nicely. And he crosses the 35 to the 36. with the ball known 36 yard line first and 10 Ruby keeps it himself and he's hit immediately looks like it'd be no gain on the play maybe a half yard loss we'll call it second down and 10 640 remaining in the contest second down and 10 for the Buckeyes on their own 36, 20 to 13, Nelson New York leading Colgrove. <laughs> Ruby back to pass, goes over the middle, he's got his man. It's Clay Watkins into Colgrove territory at the 49, first down. Buckeyes with 17 first downs in the contest. Clock running, six minutes, ten seconds remaining. First and ten for the Buckeyes at the Cold Grove 49. Option play, pitch out to glass, it's loose, and it is knocked out of bounds. It will be Buckeye football. That will be a yard loss. It will bring up second down and 11 for the Buckeyes at midfield. So 
clock stopped at 5.55 remaining in the fourth. Buckeyes 20, Hornets 13. Counter play to Parker Elliott. But there's not much running room and he's ran out of bounds. And that might have been another loss for the Buckeyes. And the clock will be stopped again since he was ran out of bounds. Loss of three. So to bring up third and 13. Back at the Buckeye 48. 548 remaining. Buckeyes out of the shotgun and they will take a timeout. 548 remaining in the fourth. Buckeyes 20, Hornets 13. Buckeyes third and 13 from their own 48. Ruby out of the shotgun. Being rushed and he's hit and dropped. And that could have been a late hit as 44. DJ Bryant jumped on, but no flag. And the Buckeyes will have to give it up with five and a half minutes remaining. Clock is running. Ball resting back at the Buckeye 38. Nice high punt by Ruby. And the return man is hit and dropped right around the 39-yard line of Cole Grove. So the Buckeye defense will be called upon one more time. 5.05 remaining. Buckeyes 20, Hornets 13. The Hornets on their own 39, first down and 10. Hand off to Keeney. Nice gain of about seven. Bring up second down and three at the Cold Grove 46. Four thirty-five remaining. Hand off to Keeney. And he is still going as he'll pick up another seven yards. to get the Buckeye 48 yard line and there's a timeout on the field 426 remaining 20 to 13 Nelson New York first down and 10 Colgrove at the Buckeye 48 and the fullback still on his feet and he'll pick up 12 yards down to the Buckeye 35 it was Adams Clock running, 4-12 remaining. Colgrove, trailing by seven. First and ten at the Buckeye, 35. And off to Brandenberry, and he's dropped by Chris Glass. Handoff was to Blankenship, pardon me. Loss of one. 
Blankenship, 80 yards on five carries. Of course, aided by that one carry for 60 yards in the first half on a touchdown run. 3.34 remaining, second and 11 at the Buckeye 37. Hand off to Keeney. Good hard running, but he'll pick up about four. Mike Warren on the tackle for the Buckeyes. Clock running at three minutes. Buckeyes by seven. Excitement here at Colgrove. Colgrove facing a third and seven at the Buckeye, 32. Hand off to Keeney, and he's hit and dropped. The ball's loose. The Buckeyes have recovered. The ball was loose. The Buckeyes have recovered the fumble. I did not see it. I thought the Buckeyes were celebrating because they stopped Keeney for a short one-yard game. But it's Buckeye football. Two and a half minutes remaining. Buckeyes by seven. And the ball's loose. The ball's loose, but the Buckeyes got it back. And that looked like a simple exchange, but it was bobbled and lost. And I tell you what, my heart was in my stomach because there's all that ball bouncing around, but the Buckeyes got it back. Loss of three, clock at 157 and running. Second down and 13. Buckeyes on their own 32. Hand off to Glass. He's hit and dropped immediately. Of course, Colgrove knows the Buckeyes are going to run the ball. Keep that clock moving. Timeout, Colgrove. 144 remaining. 20 to 13. Buckeyes. Buckeyes third and 11 on their own. 33. Roby will pass, he throws, and it's incomplete. So the Buckeyes will have to punt it away. Buckeyes punting it away, Roby punting. Fourth and 11. Colgrove coming, but Roby gets it off. Nice high punt. And the ball's dropped. Richie Belleville is hit and taken down. Nice tackle by Trey Wilson. 133 remains in this contest. Buckeyes 20. Hornets 13. And a multitude of computer points for the state playoffs. I know we're early in the season, but a multitude of computer points that goes towards the state playoffs is at stake here for these two teams. Paul Grove on their own 43. French will throw. Looking for a receiver. Throws, and it's knocked down by Clay Watson. Only six seconds run off the clock on that play. 
127 remaining. Second down and 10. Colgrove on their own 43. Derek Prince, the quarterback for the Hornets over center. Back to pass. Being rushed by Darren Lawson. It's thrown and it's incomplete. Oh, the flag is down and it's probably holding on Colgrove. The nearest ball player to that pass was Chris Glass of the Buckeyes. And if that's holding, Buckeyes will take it. And it is holding. And let's see the call. They and it will be from the spot of the hold. So that will be a big penalty. remaining in the ball game. Colgrove now back on their own 24. And it'll bring up second down and 29. They got to get it to the Buckeyes. 47. 120 remaining. Buckeyes by seven. French rolling right, looking to pass. Throws. And it is complete. Right around the 35-yard line. And Colgrove has called a timeout. I believe that's their last. It'll bring up third down at about 15. With 108 remaining. Buckeyes by seven. Third down and 16 for Colgrove on their own 37. The Buckeyes have brought in some extra defensive backs. 108 remaining, French back to pass. He's gonna throw the center's top by Blankenship. And he's hit and dropped, but he's short of a first down by about a yard. And this would bring up a big call for Colgrove because they need to pass the ball with the clock running. They're gonna measure. But yet they only need a yard. It looks like he's not even close to getting the first down, but they will measure. Oh, you have. Oh, fourth and one. Will they run it? They will. He's trying to get the first down. And he's knocked out with the stick. He might have it. 40 seconds remaining. It was number 20, Richie Belleville. And he got the first down. I wonder where he did that. What a ball game here at Colgrove. Buckeyes by seven. 40 seconds remaining. Colgrove with the ball. It's a Buckeye 46. About time for a big interception. To put an end to this madness. Derek French over center. He's back to pass. He's running with the football. And he's out of bounds. And they did not hardly run the clock. The clock is sitting at 39 seconds. And now the referee will go over to the Colgrove sideline. And the, only a few ticks had kicked off, and this has been going on for the last few minutes of the ball game. The clock will start late. And this 
see what they do. They're going to reset the clock. It says 39 seconds. The referee is... Now they've put it at 40. 49! And now it's down to 30. Thirty seconds remaining. Buckeyes twenty. Hornets thirteen. Here at Colgrove. Colgrove with the Buckeye thirty-three. First and ten. Prince back to pass. Being rushed. Close. And it's nearly intercepted by Shaw. But it is incomplete down at the sixteen yard line. Five seconds ran off the clock. I'll tell you, a game like this, it seems like the clock runs slow enough anyway. <laughs> 25 seconds remaining. Second and down and 10 for Colgrove with the Buckeye 33. Branch back to pass, being rushed by Bubba Russell, and he's dropped. 18 seconds remaining. Way to go, Bubba! The fans are on their feet on both sides of this field. 18 seconds remaining. Third down and 10 for Colgrove at the Buckeye 33. Colgrove taking a lot of time. Back to pass. Here's Grant being rushed. And he's hit as the ball flutters out of bounds. And it'll bring up fourth down and ten with nine seconds remaining. Fourth down and ten for Colgrove at the Buckeye 33. Nine seconds remaining in the ball game. Nelson, New York, 20, Cold Grove, 13. Give me an air! What that smell? What that mean? Nine seconds remaining. Cold Grove needs 10 yards. It's fourth and 10 at the Buckeye 33. Prince back to pass throws. And Blanket Chip put his knee down. He's hit and dropped. This game's over. He is short of the first down. Buckeye football. And the referees are telling the Buckeyes, uh, the extra players, to get off the field. We still have two seconds left. And the Buckeyes are celebrating. The Buckeyes have come down to Colgrove. And have come away with a seven-point victory as Ben Roby takes an eight in this one. It's over. What a ball game. Buckeyes, 20. Colgrove, 13. It's pandemonium as the Buckeye coaches hug. Both teams with a great display of sportsmanship, shaking hands out of midfield. 
Buckeyes come away with a big 20 to 13 victory here at Colgrove. The only other time these two teams met before tonight was back in 81, 16 years ago. First round of the state playoffs at Ironton. The Buckeyes defeated Colgrove in an exciting ball game. Colgrove was probably the best team the Buckeyes played during that season. And of course, great things happened after that. Running down the final numbers. Ben Roby threw for around 150 yards. Again, my stats are extremely unofficial. I got caught up, caught up into the game quite often. Eric Glass, 23 rushes for 83 yards. I had Elliott with four carries, 20 yards. Walker, also with a good game for the Buckeyes. He had, I have 60 yards in receiving. He also threw a 50-yard pass. And also, Darren Lawson. Excellent game on defense, and you can't single out as you run down the Buckeyes. Excellent ball game. Running down the stats for Colgrove. French threw for 28 yards. He rushed for eight.